Hello and welcome to another video. In this video here, we will be showing you how to configure your uh, gamepad to the, to the Nexus player. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure your controller is connected to your Nexus player. You do that by going down from the main screen, going down to settings. You're gonna press settings. Then you're gonna go down to where it says remote and accessories and then you go over here to add accessories make sure your gamepad is in pairing mode and you can from the Zeus gamepad all you have to do is press these two buttons here on the side of the power button if you press and hold those it'll put the controller in pairing mode once your controller is in pairing mode go ahead and get out of here and now we're going to configure RetroArch, which is an emulator that plays uh, PlayStation, or not PlayStation, take that back, Nintendo, Asteroids, and Super Nintendo, and a few other games, but we have Genesis on here. So we're going to go ahead and configure RetroArch. So what you want to do is go over to Sideload Launcher, and from there you're going to open up RetroArch, and then from there you're going to go down to Settings. And of course, at the top of the screen, you see the little tabs that say general, audio, input, video, and paths. So what we want to put it on is input because your gamepad is an input. And what we want to make sure is that uh, there are no check marks here. So we want to make sure there are no check marks in this one here that says enable. This will report key, key codes on screen generated by your input devices. We don't want that and this one here that says enable touchscreen overlay so you don't want that one checked either um, and then you just go down to where it says custom binds so here's where we actually configure the controller so we're going to go ahead and for player one or you can say gamepad one you're going to go ahead and press that one and we have to configure the up button so what you do is is you hit the up button and if you get that on screen right there with the letters and whatnot, you're going to use your, your remote control and you're going to just press the back arrow. So what we want to do is we want to go down until we get to the pad part. Okay, so this is for up. So what we want to do is we want to use up. And you have to do this for every button. It, it kind of sucks because it's time consuming. They could have did a did it a better way, which I'm gonna say okay to that one. So now we're gonna go to down button. Same thing. We need to get that off the screen by using our controller, our remote control. And now we're gonna go to D-pad down. D-pad down. Press that. You gotta go all the way down to the bottom unless you have a remote control or a mouse. I have a, actually have a mouse plug up to this. And you have to do this for every button all the way down the page. So the right button, we do the exact same thing. We're gonna do the right. And that's how you do it. So you have to do it for each and every button. So you get down to the very bottom and that's it. After you're done, you can just back out. There's nothing to actually save. It saves automatically. And then you can go load uh, your game. And I would suggest going to load content, detect core. Press that. Go to your games folder. There it is, Sega Genesis. And See, we can load up, uh, let's load up prototypes. So we can say, yeah, hey, let's play Congo. Select your emulator. Not sure why it's saying game over, but it's there, visual, oh, maybe that's the name of the company. Funny. Visual Concept Presents Congo. So once your controller is configured, 
play all the games you want. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this helps you out. If not, just leave a comment, and I'll see what else I can do. Till the next video, I'm out. Peace, love, and hair grease.